You're on tune to Nice Up TV. Bless up yourself. Out here to a reggae online. Bless up, people. You got Israel Star here on the scene. I'm with a very special guest here at Reggae Fest 2011 in Ballina. The one and only Deadly Hunter. How's it going, bro? Yeah, everything's good, you know. Enough respect, you know. Enjoying the vibes down at the Reggae cool. Festival 2011. It's wicked, man. Choice. Give time. Cool. So for those who don't already know, tell us a little bit about yourself and where you're from. Okay. My name's Deadly Hunter. I come from the UK, just outside London. And, you know, I'm a dancehall artist, you know. Right, right. Um, also, I work on hip-hop. I work on drum and bass. And I work in different genres of music. Um, so that's who Deadly Hunter is. Right. Yeah, man. Right. So in saying that, describe your sound and uh, what some of your influences are and your inspirations. Yeah, as I said, like I come from like um, a dancehall kind of background, but previous to that, it was like <clears throat> music from my father that I was listening to. So we used to play a lot of Dennis Brown, Bob Marley, uh, right. Nat King Cole, like on the, right. some jazz and stuff. So. You know, I had a real, my dad's from Kingston, Jamaica. Right. So, you know, and he was a real music lover. So, you know, I got to um, experience many different genres of music, but yeah. like the area which I grew up in, like the guys around there was listening to a lot of hip hop. Right. Guys were listening, some guys were listening to drum and bass. And, you know, and at the time, <clears throat> yeah, that's right. Yeah. And at the time, um, you know, dancehall was the big thing back in those times as well with people like Shabba Ranks and Ninja right. Man and Super, Super Cat and people like that. So, you know, there's, there was many different influences that was around me and that's why I kind of feel that I have kind of such a diverse style. Many people say to me, like, your style's very diverse here on this yeah. kind of music and that. Yeah, man. So, you know, I've been surrounded by many musics. Right. Yeah. Well, that's absolutely awesome. Well versatile, guys. Yeah, so um, how long have you been doing it and what's next for Deadly Hunter? Okay, you know, I've been doing this thing for about 15 years at least now, right. if I'm honest, you know? So, and it's, it's, it's over the last, just over three years now since like I've been more successful and started to travel more and do stuff like that. Right. Um, so next for Deadly Hunter is the album that's gonna be coming out uh, late in October. You'll um, be getting a release date very soon. So if people check me out on um, the Facebook, right. you'd have to put Trevor, Deadly Hunter, and then you'll see, then, you, then I will come up. Cool. Um, and I've got a video that's going to be coming up soon with my daughter, yeah. who's 11 years old. Wow. Her name's Renee. You know, the name of the song is Superstar. That's also going to be on the album. The album's called Speak My Mind. And I've got a new product that I'm going to be bringing out as well, which is some papers. They're called papers. Smoke Dog Papers. I don't know if wow. you remember, the last song that I performed tonight yeah. was a drum and bass song. Yeah, and it says like, to all the people on the north side, I'm a smoke dog, smoke dog, smoke dog. Yeah. So I've got, it's, it's a big song in Europe. Yeah, man. You know, and uh, many people like recognize this as probably my number one tune right, when I'm right. in Europe. So I've bought out a brand of papers called Smoke Dogs. I know a guy from Slovenia called Ziggy who, 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 okay. who deals with papers. You might have heard yeah. of Ziggy papers before, I don't know. Yeah. And um, we're getting this thing going, you know what I'm yeah. trying to say? Yeah. yeah. So awesome. that's, that's what's happening for the hunter in the future. Yeah, awesome. Well, guys, make sure to check it out. Go out and buy the papers and buy the album. EPs, drop-ins, singles, make sure to get out there. Okay. So. This is your first time in Australia. You've yeah. been to New Zealand before. Yeah. How are you finding it here? Man, it's beautiful. Like, you know, New Zealand was beautiful as well. Like, you know, I went down there with um, Art and Newtown Sound and, that, and, and the family. And, you know, coming here as well has been just as enjoyable. You know, it's been really nice, man. The vibes has been beautiful. The people are beautiful. Uh, you know, many people said to me before I come that Byron Bay was like a special place still. And being here only for a few days, I could recognize that for real, it's a very spiritual place and you know very cultural you know they, they, they embrace like ev everybody is very loving and open to each other is what i, I find with down here nice. so it's been a pleasure for me to cool. come here and to perform you know so i give yeah. thanks for that yeah. well i'm glad you've enjoyed it and it's been a pleasure having you here so uh people make sure you go out and check them out make sure to check the facebook have you got any last words or you know, for anybody out there who wants to be an artist like yourself and any shout outs as well. Yeah, I would just like to say then, for the people who want to be artists themselves, you have to believe in yourself, you know, and have passion in what you're doing, you know, and then, you know, you have to, you have, you have to see what other artists are doing at the top to make themselves at to why they're at the top. And then you have to do that and even more if you want to be better than them. 
So that's the best advice I can give you for all artists. And um, what was the other question you asked me? Oh, well, um, yeah, well, just any shout outs. Yeah, any really shout outs. Yeah, I just yeah. want to big up the New Town sound. I want to big up Raz. I want to big up um, <laughs> the one like Mad Dave or Crazy Dave. Yeah, I want to big up all the people from the UK. All the acts that was here performing, John Mason, Coast, Stranger Cole, um, and all of the people that was here, yeah, I just want to say big shout out and big up. Silver as well, uh, Blackbirds I want to big up also. Maximum love and respect and give thanks for having me here in Australia. Right. One love. Cool. Bless. Bless up yourself, man, and hopefully we're going to get them back next year in New Zealand and Australia on a regular basis. So make sure to check them out, check his EP, make sure to go out and get those papers as well. Bless up yourself, brother, and take care, boys. You've been watching Nice Up TV. Rewind and come again.